Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping back down into the world of Luna. There's some interesting stuff that's been going on there from a news perspective so we're going to jump into some of that but I do just want to just start here on the price chart in a moment. And um, So as I get into this video if you find it useful and informative hit the like button. I really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe. Tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will not miss another video update. If you haven't yet joined us in Discord links in the description down down below. It's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 seven. It's completely free and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find on down there. So why not check it out today? Okay, guys, let's, uh, let's just take a look at this for a moment, right? Because I did see a comment the other day saying that Luna had not moved up 178,000%. And um, I wanted to kind of just say a couple of things about that. One, obviously, I can report what I see. That's what I'm doing here i'm not making shit up um, and the second thing uh, is this wick has been disappearing right so it some days it's there some days it's not there so i don't know uh, or if this is a glitch or whatever so when i say it's moved up 178,000 percent it did from the moment that bitcoin launched according to this wick here 178,471 percent okay so hopefully that cleared that up um Essentially, I don't know if that's real or not. It could be a glitch. It could be whatever. It disappears from day to day. But there is this wick uh, right here. It comes in on the 13th of May 2022 at 1500 hours UTC plus one. Um, so look it up. Cool. Um, other than that, you know, we've been trading sideways. There's not too much to kind of note here from like price action wise. You know, the price of Luna, you know, has been interesting, right? People have been able to kind of make some decent amount of money just by trading this like any other meme coin out there right um there's no difference right now into how you would trade this one then you would trade something like shiba inu or dogecoin or whatever right anything with these large uh ridiculously out blown out of the water proportions in terms of coin circulation right and um, all of these can be traded still um and lucratively so under the right circumstances but of course it comes with high risk and uh, because now you're just in the world of speculation no real utility remains uh, and all that kind of stuff so just keep that in mind right if you're going to be trading this this is definitely a high risk area to be trading um, but could be lucrative if you do it right and i don't know how to trade these speculative uh, community-based kind of coins and tokens because it doesn't really follow uh logical patterns it's just kind of you know someone tweets something bam it moves up a thousand percent a negative tweet comes out bam it moves down to zero uh, who knows right uh, really really difficult um so again i can't control people's twitter accounts i can't control what uh, certain uh I say high profile individuals are going to tweet about something uh, therefore I do not know whether or not the price is going to move up or down based on uh, on that sentiment so you know it is what it is um, but anyway let's jump over into some some news right because a couple of things I found are quite interesting uh, obviously how a trash talking crypto founder crashed a 40 billion dollar uh, or caused a 40 billion dollar crash I just thought the title on that was quite interesting trash talking crypto founder he was definitely very egotistical sure um and I'll link this in. I'm not going to read the whole entire thing uh, below. But basically, you know, he's basically been bragging about how his greatest invention was uh, the Terra uh, Luna ecosystem or Terraform Labs. Um, basically, you know, it had raised 200 million from investment funds, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And there are, of course, a lot of people who have lost a lot of money, retail investors specifically. There was one investor investment fund, I think, down here um, that had turned 1.7 million to 170 million. Uh, and I think was actually able to get out of the market before the whole thing kind of collapsed down. But obviously he was saying that many uh, have lost money and I'm sure a lot of institutional investors have too, as long with those retail investors. So it's an interesting read. I'll, I'll link it into the description. I'm not going to go through it now. Um, this is the New York Times. Um, as I come across here, of course, we do have a little bit more... Uh, kind of hope you're out in the space i guess people maybe are not too close to it to really truly know what's actually happening here but uh, this one is titled that uh, will terra luna come back uh, is it worth buying now big question mark right um is luna really worth buying now they kind of go through a little bit of the history here it's actually quite yeah it's 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 it's, it's a, a light version of events i guess um Again, I will link this into the description so you guys can have a look at it if you want to. Um, but should you invest in Terra Luna right now, considering that Terra's strong fundamentals and price history, investors are curious to know if Luna is a still buy now crypto, even after the crash. Several market experts are still bullish on the future of Luna and ex uh, expect uh, the token to recover in the future. So that's an interesting thing to say right there they're basically saying sure i think there's some experts that are going to you know say that luna's going to i, I don't know where they where these experts are um 
I don't know where they're, where they're looking to find that that information because I don't think it's looking that great. I'm not going to lie. Um, and as a Luna holder, you know, I'd love it to recover. I just don't think that's probably going to happen. I think, if anything, we've got some other stuff to talk about later in this video that is more probable, right? Um, so, yeah, I, I don't think that is going to, to happen, right? So, um, yeah, basically talking about the ecosystem and how it's a great ecosystem. And, and yeah, it's, it's, yeah, well... Great ecosystems don't collapse. Let's just put it that way. I don't think a great ecosystem is the right terminology. But let's move on. Um, Duquan proposes, uh, proposes, if I can get my words out, Terra Revival, uh, including total token redistribution plan. Hmm. This got me interesting. Uh, interested. So I thought, okay, well, let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, look, we've got an vended plan. Okay, so Terra Ecosystem uh, Revival Plan 2. Amended. An amended version by Duquan. Okay, what is he trying to do this time? Let's uh, let's take a look, right? So, um, let's take a look, right? So, I think this is four days ago originally, and I think it's got a couple of amendments. Okay, so um, this will be a, a living document uh, to coordinate new network launch uh, with the community. Uh, details uh, are subject to change, right? So you can see he's making changes to it. Okay. Um, and obviously straight off the bat here, this is a living document, which means it's going to have changes, right? So subject to change, it's going to have. Um, and it's basically to coordinate new network launch. Okay, so we understand exactly what Duquan wants just by looking at this, right? He basically wants to create a proposal here that could change at any moment. And basically, it is designed to create a new network and he wants to launch that with the community. Okay, so that's, you know, that's obviously the objective. Line one, sentence one, uh, that is exactly what he's telling you. Okay, um, so... You know, it's being edited, blah, blah, blah. I'm not even going to kind of go through that. But basically, we got amendment number one. Um, some of the tokens, uh, or some of the details of the token allocation have been modified uh, in the proposal to accommodate community feedback, changes and reasoning outlined here. The proposal body has also been edited to reflect the changes in the amendment. If you've already voted or and disagreed with a change, uh, please vote no. Uh, you have five more days to do so. So go ahead and vote if you haven't um so pre-attack lunar holder distribution uh, for all holders um with a snapshot balance of ten thousand or more lunar or less uh so basically okay yeah so a snapshot of ten thousand lunar or less um 30 percent uh unlock at genesis 70 percent vested over two year period uh thereafter with uh six month um cliff so wow okay so basically uh you're going to have a snapshot of your investment you're only going to be gifted 30% of your investment back. Um, and then the other 70% will be distributed to you um, over a two year period. Uh, so, so yeah, so that's not great, is it? Um, let's be honest with you. You've invested your money and now you're going to have to wait a couple of years before you can see any of it back. Admittedly, it's better than nothing, better than a kick in the teeth, but definitely not the best. Um, this is to ensure that small lunar holders uh, have a similar um, initial liquidity profiles. Uh, this would cover 99.18% of lunar wallets while only representing 6.45% of lunar at the pre-attack uh, snapshot so if you bought it after the uh, i don't know what i call it attack right so uh, the terminology here is, is he's using it saying it's an attack right he's had his system attacked now it wasn't necessarily attacked if um i mean as i understand it right now it doesn't appear to be an attack but just a compounding of a series of very unfortunate events um okay so post attack ust holders distribution uh, 20% to 15%. Uh, this is to ensure that DPEG related allocation is on par with the original stakeholder uh, pre attack lunar allocation. Uh, the 5% saved uh, goes to the community pool. Okay. Um, interesting why you've done gone post, but okay, I get it. Uh, so increase uh, initial float. Uh, all initial float allocations modified from 15% to 30% to increase to initial token float. Um, okay, so there's your amendment number one. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to a lot of you guys. Uh, if not, again, this will be in the description below so you can kind of have another look at it. Um, okay, so again, none of that has changed. There's no amendments behind that. Is there any more amendments in this? So no. Uh, interesting. Uh, so basically, you know, 
it's a token redistribution. I pretty much aligned to uh, this one here, right? And um, basically, it's now looking at a token redistribution plan uh, based on feedback. Now, I still think it's um, it's not great uh, to to kind of do it this way, but uh, you know, it is a solution, uh, one of of probable uh, probably be many different solutions. Right? I know that people want to fork it and they want to um, you know kind of do uh, do it an ecosystem without. Uh, a, a, an algorithmic stable coin and all of that kind of stuff it'll be interesting to see uh, what your views and the thoughts and opinions are on this new amended plan from do Quan. is this something that's acceptable is it not acceptable i know a lot of the community are actually just looking for a, a burn buy back and burn uh, essentially right uh, you know there's no need to to do these things uh, of course you know i did see a document saying they've only got about 300 bitcoin left uh, in their treasury fund and so they definitely haven't got the funds to be able to uh, to do a buyback or burn or anything like that um so we should be you know fully um know, aware i guess that essentially uh you know that that's very very unlikely to happen right which brings me back and circles me back to this it is not worth buying luna if this plan goes ahead because again it isn't going to be helping anybody who's investing into luna uh, post attack right as they as they call it here uh, i'm just i'm not going to call it an attack i'm going to call it post quan um so basically after he had adjust the uh the algorithmic uh part of the protocol to allow for 1.2 trillion dollars rather than the 293 million dollars cap right so um i'm going to say post quan um so basically if you were to buy um you know luna now you're not going to benefit in any way shape or form you have basically a meme coin that you can trade based on speculation um but nothing more than that um so be very very cautious right so um this i think it is a plan that can get things up and running but let's be honest be brutally honest with ourselves who on earth is going to want to trust such an ecosystem after this level of um of collapse right it, is, it isn't going to be something that's going to be sustainable long term in my opinion um and the you know you could rebrand it you can do a lot to kind of help with the pr side um but again it's an uphill battle and it's not going to be easy um as potentially something that we would probably want to look at which again i think they know uh which is why they have this two-year vesting period right they don't want you selling your coins yet uh, they don't want you just to take and empty their liquidity pool right they don't want you to do that um you're going to only have access to 30 percent of your funds um for a period of two years um uh yeah well it has got a six month cliff to be fair but you know you get the idea what i'm trying to say here guys is there's an uphill battle and um trying to revive this uh ecosystem and uh, really the only way you're going to be able to manage it from a pr perspective is with some kind of huge bailout and um, that would basically allow for a token burn uh, otherwise you're forking it and you're basically you're not really doing uh, the existing investors justice you're not doing a good pr um pers uh, not doing a good pr um s i guess pers putting a pr spin on it right where um you can actually get people's buy back into uh, into what you're doing yeah you know, essentially this is the this is the easy way out in my opinion right it's take a snapshot and redistribute new tokens uh, under a new name and all of that kind of stuff i think the community plan is slightly better um you know the the one that basically says we'll fork it we'll call the existing one luna classic forget about it it's done and uh, start a new one called luna um and essentially you know that's kind of what duquan is trying to do here but he's actually not doing is not forking it as such is basically just taking the existing assets off um via a bridge uh, bridge them off of that off of, of terra and then basically bring new ones in um and a new distribution model and you know uh they're, they're the same but different right uh, essentially they're the same but different and i think um yeah it is what it is um so let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comments down below what do you think of this revival plan to amended uh, the distribution the redistribution of those tokens amendment one let me know your thoughts and opinions really interested to know guys i'm going to leave the video there if you have found it useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that and uh, if you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with all that said done out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one